Neil Fashi said it was beyond our dreams after he and wife Laura both won Paralympic gold within the space of 16 minutes as the track cycling events came to a close. There was also gold for the mixed team sprint with Kadena Cox and Yako Van Gas winning their second titles in Tokyo and Jody Kundi claiming his eighth career Paralympic success. Neil and pilot Matt Rotherham smashed their own world record to beat teammates James Ball and Lewis Stewart for gold in the B1000m time trial. They surpassed their old time of 59.278 seconds with a new mark of 58.038 to give Neil his second Paralympic gold after he won with Barney Story at London 2012. And shortly afterwards, Laura and Corrine Hall successfully retained their B3000m pursuit crown. The pair qualified fastest for the final, also setting a world record, and finished just under two seconds ahead of Ireland's Katie George Dunleavy and Eve McChrystal in the final with Britain's Sophie Onwin and Jenny Hall winning bronze. The sprint team had qualified second fastest for their decider where they took on China and after Cox put in a blistering opening lap to give them a narrow advantage, first Van Gas and then Cundy kept the pressure on to win by 0.106 secs. Neil and Laura had experienced mixed fortunes at London 2012 and Rio 2016 with Tokyo the first Paralympics were both made the top step of the podium at the same games. Neil, 37, started his career as a sprinter in Beijing before switching to the bike and winning a gold and silver in London and silver in Rio. Laura, 32, failed to win a medal in London but along with Hall claimed gold and bronze four years later. We both said at the beginning of the day, whatever happens let's just enjoy ourselves, said Neil. We knew this day would be our big one. It was the same in Rio. Laura got the gold, I got the silver. Back in London, I got gold and Laura missed out. So finally we've managed to both do it together, and to both break the world record as well as beyond our dreams. Of course we're happy for each other but when you're the one who wins, it's harder, because you know how much the other one is hurting. But this time we can both enjoy it. Laura was born with a hereditary eye condition. She lost her sight when she was five and had to leave guide dog Tai at home while she travelled to Tokyo. Despite her sight loss, she is a keen cook and in her spare time writes a food blog. We want each other to win but it doesn't change anything if we don't. It was great to see Neil go and do an absolutely cracking time, she said. It's a lot more stressful watching someone you care about racing than actually doing it yourself. While Neil's Paralympic program is at an end, Laura goes again in Tuesday's tandem road race and Friday's time trial. The wheelchair rugby team reached their first Paralympic final with a thrilling 55-49 victory over hosts and world champions Japan and will face either Australia or the USA on Sunday, 10 o'clock British summertime. Elsewhere, Defending table tennis class 7 champion Will Bailey is guaranteed at least a silver after saving match point to beat China's Liao Kelly 3-2 and reach Sunday's final. There are bronzes for Tom Matthews, class 1, Jack Hunter Spivey, class 5, and Paul Karabardak, class 6, who all lost their semi-finals. Mickey Yule, who lost his legs while serving with the British Army in Afghanistan in 2010, won bronze in powerlifting's minus 72 kilograms event. But there was no joy for GB on the opening day of the triathlon with Fran Brown fourth in the women's PT2 event and the same result for Alison Peasgood and guide Nikki Bartlett in the women's PTVI race. In the men's PTVI race, there was heartbreak for Dave Ellis and guide Luke Pollard who suffered a snapped bike chain. Source. BBC Sport please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.